Okay, today we're going to show you how to save your test array to your computer and pull it up and use it later. First thing you need to do is print your test array on whatever material it is you're going to use. And then once you've done that, take a picture of it and save it as a JPEG in a file where you know where it's at so that you can get to it later. Next, you're going to come over to We Create Make It screen, click on your materials list, and then down towards the bottom, it says Add. Click on Add. And then a user defined materials list comes up. Put the name of whatever the material it is that you have. I'm going to put one in for anodized aluminum. Okay, and then the thickness, the what I got's one millimeter thick. The next you got line engrave, fill engrave, and cut. Okay, well obviously it's not going to cut, so we don't put nothing in there. But for line engrave, this is what you can put in for presets. So whenever you're doing an item and you click and tell it, okay, I want it to do a, a line engrave on what I just typed in, that's what it'll put in there as a default. Okay. Um, so put in there whatever you want, and you can change these later. Okay. Next, I'm going to do um, fill and grave, and then I know for the the fill and grave, I want my power to be 78, and I want my speed to be 158. Okay. Now I'm going to click on the plus button here and then I'm going to go to wherever I took that picture. Click on the picture and drop it in there and then I'm going to hit save. Okay. So now I'm going to exit out of it real quick. So now when I come to materials, I click on the down arrow here. I come over to customization. Here's my analyzed anodized balloon. I click on it. There it is. I hit confirm. Oh, thickness of material. One millimeter. Click confirm. Okay, so if I do text, and I tell it, here's the 43 or 124 automatically came up because it's line engrave on this. If I hit fill engrave, it's going to go to what my presets were on it before. Now if I scroll down and I click on my picture, I can't click on the individual squares like you can on the factory set ones, but you get a visual representation there and you can see, okay, I want it to be 55, 305, and then you can manually type them in there. But it's all in one place, you can't lose it, and there it is. If you want to change it, you um, click on your material. And up here it says edit or delete. Um, you can do that. If you hit edit, the screen pops back up. You can do whatever you want. Hit save. Um, one thing that I've found, if you want to delete this now, it won't let you. Because it's, it's selected as your working material. So if I want to delete that, I come over here and I select wood, basswood, whatever. Hit confirm go back in again to my customize now if I hit delete it goes away so you can mess around with it and do what you want like share follow and subscribe have a great day